What up, man? We back, Stacking Black, episode four. Got my guy, Easy McCoy, in the house, man. We're gonna be chopping it up and breaking it down once again. And you already know, man, we live, we back. Last week, we had my guy, Season, in here, Sam Thompson, the mayor, y'all already know. That's right. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed that episode. <laughs> hope, and if you haven't, tap in with that, you know what I'm saying? Funny-ass episode, we got it popping, you know what I mean? Um, this week, like you said, man, we got my man, Easy McCoy, in the building, man. You know what I'm saying? Introduce yourself, brother. Easy McCoy, man, you know. But you know who he is, man. He ain't new out here, man. <laughs> well, just to let y'all know, for my people that don't know, you know what I'm saying, this is my guy, man, a good friend of mine, you know what I'm saying. Um, uh, mm -hmm. Dude taught me a lot, you know what I'm saying, a lot of positive stuff. Um, about Basically, a lot about what we're talking about today, man, health and exercise. Um, and But before we do that, we just, you know, we want to get a little a little rundown of what uh, Easy been doing, you know what I'm saying, because he also, an uh, album just dropped. Um, for those of y'all that don't know, you know what I'm saying, my man is big on the music, music publishing. Huge. Um, you know what I'm saying, got his music being played on NFL, uh, all 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 different types of uh, uh, huge right. huge arenas. So, uh, you know, just kind of kind of let us know what's going on with you, man. <clears throat> y'all know the lights on me. Um, I just put that out last month. I released that. I got a deal, like my man said. You know, the television stuff is going crazy. This year has been, I mean, you know, from Bel Air, a lot of y'all done seen Bel Air. Yeah. Just going into that, doing Bel Air, doing everything else and getting a certain deal. Then I got Ashley when we was looking for clothing in LA. Yeah. Oh, well, that trip, trip y'all took up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's when you did the polos, man. Yeah. yeah, right, right. We took the trip. They went to a game. What, what game y'all go? You and Elsie, y'all uh, went to a game. The, the Anaheim Angels. Yeah, and I was like, I got to go to this meeting. Yeah. I need to sit, so I had to sit in traffic. You know LA traffic. Mm -hmm. So I sat in this meeting, and I just, um, it was a crazy opportunity that happened to, to everything that I'm doing today. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I dropped the lights on me. <clears throat> and the reason why I dropped it, because the record was doing so well with television. Mm -hmm. All the movies from the NFL, Bel Air, NBC. Uh, Oh man, I mean Shaft, I mean all these different type of, you know, things that I was doing, it was we kinda like they was like, yo, we need to put the record out. Yeah. But it's a lot more to that that we can talk about though. Like, we don't get but now, you know what the you know what the funny thing is, is uh actually my guy was in the day, y'all know Portland George from Mandos. PG came in and he was like, Yeah man, he was like, Man, you know, He's like, man, easy, you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting here watching the Raiders and I fucking <laughs> I, I, I fucking hear my nigga's song. And he's like, I'm telling my wife, he's like, she don't really know what's going on. I'm telling my wife, like, yo, that's my nigga, like that, that that's that's easy McCoy shit, or you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's right, like during right, during, yeah. during the Raiders show. Right. So, um, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Um, just kind of talk about like, you know, you talk about your team and right. you know how 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 you get uh Well, I mean I wanna just start by saying first of all, before we get to that, man, I just seen Easy McCoy on the scene for a long time. You know, right. let's not talk let's not act right. like this is new, you yeah, know. Yeah, before yeah. social media, before um, you can before, post, yeah. you can talk about like, it. He been in the game a long time, <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah. I know he was signed with some labels before and he was right. he been putting out uh, right. quality product and and keeping right. the energy solid for years. So Real like, talk. like uh, you know, it takes a lot of years to start to get people to really respect what you're doing and right. start to look for you. So yeah. you don't make make it sound like you just did it overnight or nah, nothing. You've been nah, in the game nah, for a long time. Definitely. 18, 18, 18 years. years. Yeah. yeah, 18 years. Long man. time. It really ain't no overnight success. I don't think that I don't think that it really is. Nah. Yeah. Nah, hell no. You gotta get out of here you yeah, work yeah, and grind till till yeah. till people actually recognize right. that that's what you're doing. So you know right. what I'm saying? Um yeah. Uh, I know you got a dope team, you know right. what I'm saying, and um, just you know speak a little. Well, bit yeah, about like it. you know, <laughs> understanding your team is um, that's like big and it's complex too. You gotta have the right different people in the right you know situations yeah. that can open up certain doors, and right, they and right. they might not be people you personally was raised with, right? right. That you right. be around every day, and so my team from licensing management to different management to. Uh, like I said, the television stuff and all that, like when, when I sit home in Portland, when I'm here, I got a whole about like 20 different people pushing the record. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a cold team. Yeah, you got like 20 Solid. different people like really setting up different things for you. Yeah. 
that'll create a revenue stream. So it's now it's more than being just a rapper. Mm. Cause I mean, how many rappers you really know that's making money off their craft? Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not nah, for real. Yeah, that, you, that, that can say like I do music and like I make a living. Yeah, yeah. And we like, got, I feed my kids though. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. And we talking about more than just show money. We talking about yeah, yeah back end checks. We talking yeah. about royalty. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? That yeah. type of stuff. So knowing the ins and outs of the yeah. business is is what's gonna keep you surviving in the business. Yeah. You gotta have the right team too. You guys, you gotta be prepared. Rather, you got the person doing your taxes. Yeah. Right. Or you got somebody making sure you're getting your, your actual publishing. <clears throat> People talk about publishing, but if you got nobody administrating and doing it and handling all that, how you getting paid? Yeah. Like, yeah. it's kind of like certain rules that you got to follow and you got to be able to... Uh, get in with those right people and have them believe in you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. sometimes it don't, like even for me, like the record is done, I don't know, like a couple hundred thousand streams in less than a month. Yeah. Portland ain't paying attention though. Yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but it's okay though, like, cause yeah. I understand like what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, we talking about music. We talking about, you know, if you in it to get the money or make stuff. Right. I mean, it's like, we talking about worldwide. We right. Portland is, a lot of, I feel like a lot of times people get trapped in this box thinking that this is the world and it ain't, man. No. The world is way bigger than Portland, right, man. Right. Way, 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 go way see bigger. It. You, you gotta go understand? see it though. Once you go see it though, you gonna, you gonna love home, but you gonna be like, I got to go. Man, yeah. yeah. Hey man, so what, 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 real quick, I mean, I'm kind of off subject, but I'm curious though, because, you know, we're talking about the business side of the music industry, you okay. know, and I feel like a lot of artists don't really understand that side or maybe they don't even care. Right. Like, I feel like, you know, we in a place where, Maybe not just our place, but you know, I think naturally most people rap just want to hear their self rap, right? You know, and and they keep it real like low key, and they don't really push and work and do the business side of things. Like, I feel like people, I feel like a lot of rappers could just get a cool job. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, I mean, it, like, it, like, it, like it, if you're not gonna really niggas ain't get a cool job. I'm just saying, if you're not, not gonna do, if you're not gonna, a lot of these niggas is trash. They need to get a cool job. I'm saying, if you're not gonna, push they need to be garbage man. If you're not Throw gonna, them CDs in the trash. <laughs> I just think rap. I just think rap look too easy to people, and that's always the first one they want to run to, and not realizing like you don't really make a living off of it. Like, nah. like that's that's like the most uh, I don't know, man. Like black smoke career I feel like in the world right now. Everybody think they can do it. Years, you know what I'm saying? Nah, but you but but, but you, you can relate to this too. It's kind of like what us doing the clothing yeah. thing. It's like now I'm seeing it's a million clothing lines. Yeah, and it, and and, it, and it's like you know from the outside looking in, people be thinking. Man, I could do that. He do that. I know him. Yeah. But you're not seeing all the work that comes with it. Right. You're right. not. And just like with P, like, for instance, you know, like you said, Lights on Me, the album. It's like he got a team that's working for him. You know what I'm saying? So it's and more than. Me. Yeah. With with and for. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. So, um, you know, like a lot of cats out here, they want to, you know, you're doing these shows locally. And that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? But it, but but, but if you're really genuinely, if you're doing this shit for a hobby, that's cool. Then then make CDs for your friends and all that and, and, and whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but if you're really trying to to really get paid off this and make it a life and make it a lifestyle, then you you, you need to know more, man. You need you to gotta tap into something different. And it yeah. depends on what you want, though. Some right. people's okay with a couple likes. Man. Some people's okay with, like, you know... A few I mean, like, people's okay with just saying I got streams. That's yeah. it. Yeah. I got no money, but I got streams. Yeah. That's okay. Like, right, for you, that's cool. I mean, I, I mean, to be honest, I just got on Spotify, like, last year. Uh, and I was, I was still <coughs> getting a check for music. But I just put my music on Spotify. That's only been a year? Last year, yeah, 2018. Oh, okay. That's the only time I put my music. It wasn't on there before that. You mean check, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just even with the albums you was dropping and all that, it wasn't, they wasn't on Spotify. Though? Nah, well, well, some was, but like all, a lot of the new stuff, it was like SoundCloud, oh, like, yeah. and it was okay, cool. Yeah. I was going through the process like every other artist, but also I was doing a lot of other different things, being connected in the sync world, the movie world. Being in the studio with different producers, mm -hmm. being linked, you know, going through in and out of LA, dealing with that. Yeah. But I was in a position to make moves. So I didn't go out there looking for a move. Yeah. I went out there with a move. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like I, I had a play set up. Yeah. And it was cool. We ran it back over and over again. Still doing it. Still doing it. Yeah, we still running the back. We yeah. gonna keep running the back. Yeah. And so, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's a big difference, but it depends on what you want. Some people just want to rap. 
just for notor- local notoriety. Yeah. Some people's okay with that. I feel like a lot of people that be doing that shit. Yeah. Half the people they, they, they don't want to do it. Have a couple bitches and a couple little thoughts. That's it. That's you know it. And that's cool for you. That's yeah. that's cool. I don't knock that. Do that. I'm not doing that though. Like that's not the reason why right. I want to do what I do. And for a lot of y'all, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. A lot of y'all that know my guy, you know, he, he ain't something that he really he don't be running around here talking like he's I'm a rapper or da da da. da. He wouldn't even tell you. You, you nah. wouldn't know he rap till you see him on at the road on stage or yeah. something. Yeah. Or or or, or you just have to know. <laughs> or him just like know that. him. Yeah. Yeah, but. But you know, and and the ironic thing about it is he's really getting paid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he's not even telling you he's a rapper. So, so a lot of you rappers out here, you know what I'm saying? I, think about that. You niggas is talking big and bad, and you 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 you're doing this and that, and you're moving streams, and a lot of that's cap. <laughs> Let's keep it real. A lot of them streams is bought. That shit. A lot of that shit is cap. But um, you know, you're, you're you're talking this and that, but you know, you're really not getting no bread with it. You know what I'm saying? But then you're swearing it's not a hobby. You swearing this is what you do. If you rap and you don't got a job, but you're not getting no bread. Nigga, that equals zero. That's you know, I mean, I mean, like <laughs> nowadays we already know. Make no every, sense. Everybody raps. Who don't rap? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Who don't? My daughter wanna rap. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, think about that. Yeah. I mean, come here, rapping. <laughs> but everybody raps. I mean, it's not like it's to a point. Everybody raps for no understanding of really what it is. It's just. Right. And I'm not really knocking that. Do it for exercise. But yeah. Don't say it's for business. Yeah, yeah please. Right. And don't be out here trying. If it's to exercise, it's exercise. Yeah. We all exercise. So don't be, be talking about Don't be exercise. mad, niggas ain't coming to your shows when you when, when you really treating this shit like a hobby. You're out here, you know, what I'm saying you don't know none of the business, but you just want to get in the studio, smoke backwoods, and and fuck these random thoughts. So when they ask you what you do for a living, really, you're a cornball. Right. <laughs> That's what that equals to. You know what I'm saying? Because because you're, you're living a lie. Right. So you're living. You're you're, so you're acting like a, a full time job, but it's a hobby. Right, so do it all the way, man, or you know, like yeah. do something. Do it all the way or get the fuck out the way. Period. So many. Make room for the real niggas, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, but Leah, like we said, you know, we just want we wanted, wanted to introduce my guy, Easy McCoy. You know what I'm saying? Um, at Easy McCoy on uh, Instagram, as well as at the Black Mannequin Fit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, stop, stop confusing him with the real Black Mannequin. Y'all be yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I was gonna bring yeah, that up. I knew, I knew that was gonna hey, be here. That my brothers <laughs> told me too. They 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 like they like man that nigga P that, that that nigga Easy shit is hard. But that Black Mannequin, I'm like. Yeah, you right. <laughs> I don't even be arguing with niggas. I be like, that's my nigga, cause he, you know, this nigga, he always got the shit on. But um, uh, yeah, like we said again, man. Uh, album lights on me. Yeah, lights on me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look for that stream on, on, yeah, on check all. It out. And that, and that came out because it needed to. But the new stuff is even. It, you know we'll talk about it. It's, even it's all it's all strategic yeah. with what he's doing. It's all a plan. Real talk. It ain't just no nigga. Plan. This nigga ain't just rapping. He, if you tell him to pull up for the studio for a verse, he might not be there. Nigga, you got shit to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. all strategic. You feel me? Right. Probably not. <clears throat> but yeah, man. So we gon' we gon' we we gonna start this episode off. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, I guess we already started it off, but uh, we gonna get into this. Um, uh, Black mannequin fit. Yeah, health is wealth is what we calling yeah, this one. Right. Podcast number right. four. Getting money. You know what I'm saying? We got my guy in the building, uh, Easy McCoy. Um, for a lot of y'all that do know, you know my guy, he goes crazy in the gym. Beast, um, I mean, he's doing unbelievable shit. We're going to actually show you, uh, you know, we're going to have some clips of, of yeah, some of his workouts and just show you some of the, the amazing shit he's doing, you know what I mean? And uh, this is my guy, man, you know what I'm saying? He taught me how to eat healthy uh, and, he, you know, he taught me a lot of things that I learned in the gym. So uh, I feel like this episode is going to be good for a lot of people who want to start with the gym or, you know, you want to move in the right direction. This is this is the right man to talk to. So, yeah, um, a lot of times people um, don't really realize, like, the correlation between, you know, health and wealth, and, you know, mentality, success, finances, like, you know, uh, mental health. You know, it all it all it all yeah, sure. it all stay intertwined with each other, man. And. I think Easy do a real good job of keeping everything at equilibrium and keep them all as important. Like his business is just important as his music, his music is important as his health. Mm-hmm. You know, and all these different things that he covered, which you know makes him a heavy, heavy threat in the game. You know, and with all the experience uh, that he got in his business, uh, being in the music for a long time, you know, and and just succeed in all those aspects like simultaneously. You know, so you got to look out for that. You got to want to know his secrets. You got to want to know how he doing it, why he do it. You know, that's why we wanted to have him here to talk more about health. Because I don't think we talk about that enough in like in our community. You know, we always talk about the music or the fashion or, 
you know, the women or the reality shows, whatever. But you know, a lot of shit. Like, we talk about a lot of shit that's not. Yeah, very we don't. Important. We don't. We don't get too deep in the in the health. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And why it's important, and you know, and how to keep us alive to, to do the things that we good at. Yeah, you know what I'm saying that's what's important. So agreed. So we had to have on in on that one, man. Mm-hmm. So we just gonna start this off with you know what I'm saying we 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 just want you to give us you let, let let us know how you feel about uh, all these uh, all these questions that we have for you honestly and we gonna we gonna tie it in we are gonna tap in and, and, uh, and we are gonna spark it off. I first, mean, wait, no, hold on, I, I, like y'all really put me on like a pedestal. Uh, they yeah. put me on like a high. Like I'm like <laughs> I know some dudes that get way more money than me when it comes to this fitness, but I do appreciate it though. Yeah, like, but yeah, but we 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 you know we, we, we're like, not talking about the, the financial aspect. We talking no, about no no no, 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 no. They call it. Oh, you mean money? Oh, get money. We get. Money yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, yeah. I mean, for our area, for for around yeah. here, what we doing? Like, you know, you you you, you, yeah. you know, you the, you, you the nigga, man. You the guy with see, this see, shit. So see, those those, those your networking buddies, but we don't know them. All right, okay, <laughs> you know yeah, I guess you got to. I know, you know, we be we in the shit, man. A lot of cats don't go hard like that, man. Right, Period. Sure. You know I feel that. I feel that. So so, uh, so we really wanted to know, like, what? Why is it exercise? so important you know what i'm saying just to to being alive you know people don't really realize why they need to do it yeah touch on that well i mean i think just you know you got to think like being able to move being able to walk i mean i think being able to do a push-up being able just to like be in shape in general that should be just a goal to be able to like carry yourself yeah you know what i'm saying this ain't something that's like far from us Right. As people. Yeah. It's just something we neglected as people. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, be like, oh, bro, I see you in the gym. They make, like, jokes about you being in shape. Like, it's wrong. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. No, 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 no for real. Right. Like, right. Like, hold on, like, so, because I drink a couple gallons of water a day. <laughs> <laughs> like, you going you, you, you gonna to tell so me, I'm like, like, so I'm the asshole? Yeah, like, so yeah. I'm wrong. So wrong with me? I'm, yeah. yeah, like, it's kind of like, because I don't do that. It's like, man, nah, like, we got to be able to move. We got to be able to. And, you know, we really want to be here. I mean, I think exercise is something that's going to make you happy because certain things it does for your body. I mean, why you want to sit on your ass all day and not do nothing? Yeah. Does that even make sense? No. I, I mean, mean just, I, I mean, it don't make sense to some me. people. Yeah, it don't make sense to me. I feel like some people don't, I feel like a lot of, some people, they don't think about exercise. They don't care what makes sense. Yeah. But, but you can't. Or I just say, they know, they, 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 because they feel like, oh, my life is cool. I'm, or or a, lot of, a lot of times people are like, oh, well, I'm skinny. So yeah. what the fuck I need to go to the gym yeah. for? Or, you know, like, like, so, I got money. Yeah, you're skinny, but you drink uh, you drink a half a uh, pint of hand every day and, and smoke two boxes of Newport Hundreds. Yeah, right. And these <laughs> is pops. And you still sipping? <laughs> yeah, we be talking about the drink. Like, yeah, these, these is props. You yeah. don't drink this much. Well, nah. Today, I mean, when I mean, you grown, yeah, you you know. We, but nah, but like moderation. I, in moderation for sure. But I do feel like it's just a part of the like. I, I don't know, man. And maybe just we created. We got lazy society too. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you ain't requiring it from nobody else, ain't nobody gonna require it from you. So what does it matter? Okay. <laughs> what, 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 I like to touch on, I, and when we talk about exercise, we mean we're talking about for everybody. But I'm saying, right. like, for a moment, just kind of talk about with black folks, especially, like, right. kind of how you know, like, like how you feel about exercise with black folks, and you know, what I'm saying how kind of like it's crazy. We don't. We naturally gifted at it. We right. we excel at it. We yeah. do it. Think right. about when you do it. Right. When you black and you get in the gym, <laughs> I do stuff with no. I don't use no pre workout. Yeah. I, I be off water and vin and uh, yeah. not vinegar, but oh, wait, that too. Yeah. But water and um vitamins and vitamins yeah. and and water and like ginger. Yeah. And I go and jump and do a thirty six inch vertical push up just all practice. Yeah. Natural though, just a natural effect of a man being a man and what natural genes I got. Yeah. So I feel like. It's an important thing. We look so good when we do it, though. Think yeah. about, like, right. come on, man. I'm look, man. Right. We ain't even start on how I look compared to how others look. <laughs> when I say, like, age, when we talk about age yeah, brackets. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Age brackets are what we mm-hmm. see in right now. Nah, you're right. Oh, that's Culturally, though, in our culture, though. Like, you know, people act like drinking water bad. Yeah. yeah Niggas be like, crazy. man, I ain't drinking no fucking water. Niggas, you better drink some what water are you and talking stop talking about? Yeah, yeah why the fuck? That's weird. Yeah, why would you even say that out loud? Stop I'm not drinking no water. <laughs> yeah. You better eat some onions. But I, but but, but <laughs> that's also a culture thing too, right? <laughs> it is because like our thing. parents didn't really. Niggas you know, are drinking Kool Aid all they like. And, and I don't want to sound high, on the high horse. I ain't been doing this for like no twenty years, and now I probably been doing this for the past six years. On when you talk about eating better and and being vegan. Mm-hmm. Maybe three hours out the day, and doing <laughs> and doing what I want. But now nah, I'm saying like doing that type of like lifestyle, understand, being conscious of what I eat. Right. It ain't been something, so I ain't finna act like I've been always on that. Right. I haven't, because a lot of y'all know I ain't been on that. Mm-hmm. And I still go. I mean, I don't eat no fast food, but I I eat something out of line every once in a while. I ain't gonna lie, but 
my main focus is like I'm being very conscious of what I put in my body. Yeah, right. yeah. You know what so I'm and, 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 and and yeah, we're, that's moving into the next question. What's the importance of eating healthy? So, so I mean, besides always watching what you put in your body, what's the what, what do you feel is like the the, the the number one important like what's the most important thing about eating healthy? Or, or what's the biggest benefit? Yeah, I mean, you feel better. Yeah, come on, man, we know. Like even me, like man, I know it's it goes in this popular belief, but like when you go eat soul food and you go right to sleep, I love <laughs> soul food too. Right. But we gotta be able to switch it up to have like, man, I don't know, like I had a vegan soul food, like like a vegan Thanksgiving. Fire. Oh, was it fire? But, but see, but we oh, just no, don't I'm ready eat. for that. Yeah, we Grandma got that home. mac and cheese still lit. I had mac and they cheese. They got mac and cheese speaking with too, the though. cashews and all. Bro, it's fire no, though. No, Grandma but, mac and cheese ain't got no cheese, fucking. Yeah, but but she, it, it is fire though. I'm not saying it's not. <laughs> no, no, no. I was saying they got no cashews. Oh, yeah. But this <laughs> that shit cheesy though. as a motherfucker. It still is good though. Yeah, yeah. And I love cheese. I love all that. But I'm just saying, like, it's a part where we can be like, okay, let me try this. Just That's try it though. Like, we, we, don't wanna, we don't even want to try it though. That's the thing. Nah, P got me on my vegan. I ain't gonna lie. Like I went vegan before too for like I be six months. I all the time. But I'm well, I'm just talking about just just to <laughs> here's, here's, being vegan. Huh? Here's the thing. Like never don't be afraid to try something new. You know what yeah. I mean? Because you never know how you're gonna feel about it. You know, like black folks. A lot of times, a lot of us was raised like, oh, I don't eat that. Yeah. Or you know, like right, sometimes right, 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 we was right. raised to where like. My, a motherfucker might not even have never even tasted that before, but you don't eat it because your family said they exactly, exactly. You know what I mean? So exactly. we gotta we, we 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 gotta we gotta open our minds because a lot of the shit that we was taught that was healthy as as young kids that was bullshit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the shit that we was it fed is. by our grandparents, yeah. and it yeah. wasn't it wasn't purposely their fault, but it was like that's what the, that's Tradition. that's yeah that's 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 what they was fed, and that's what they that's how they learned when they grew up. So mm -hmm. a lot of the ways we was eating that shit was not cool. So we gotta reprogram mm -hmm. our brains. We gotta go out here. We gotta be willing to try new stuff because you never know how you are gonna feel about it. Now, if you try some shit and it ain't cool, then leave it the fuck alone. But and figure something else. Yeah, out, be, but just don't stop though. Trying to you know yeah. progress and eat different because you know that there's certain people that say because. Uh, that are eating a certain way and be like, oh, I got this problem, but I changed my diet and now the problem left. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you go back to eating the same yeah. way and the problem come right back. Yeah. So yeah. food is that valuable. Yeah. I mean, it really is that valuable. Yeah. And, yeah. You it know, it, 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 and that's just like discipline. That's going to take discipline because we've been conditioned to just uh, eat what we crave. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Not and control yeah. the craving. Just yeah. like, what I'm just going to eat it, there's a matter I'm going to eat it. Period. Yeah. And that's been killing us. And now, yeah, and now, know, it's, and now it's, it's normal to do that. Yeah. You know, yeah. like it, it don't make sense. Like people be so like paranoid of vegan food and never even tried it. And it's fire. Yeah. It's just weird to me. Yeah. And, and I had some bomb ass vegan food. I did try it. You know what I'm saying? But we got to do research, though. We don't do research as a people. We don't do enough research. We just shun it because it's not popular to us. Exactly. So since we didn't, you know, we ain't never knew about this or nobody. We ain't never tried. So I don't want to do that. Because right. I don't know nothing about it. That I, I mean, that ain't how I was raised. Yeah. So I ain't finna eat that because I wasn't raised like that. And and right. And, and that, that, but that's what, and that's what I'm saying. That's that's like, that's, huh? that's ignorance. It's like like ignorance. not to oh. not to personally attack nobody, but because we wasn't raised right like that. Anyway, yeah. come on, let's be yeah. honest with ourselves. Yeah. But we all sit and look like I mean, not really raised like on the right. Mm, probably not. Nah, it was like we, we learned probably a lot not. of we learned all a lot right. of fuck shit growing up just right. being in our families. Right. And right. you know what yeah. I mean? And, and, and so that's real though. Yeah, you know we got to we we we, we got to reprogram, man. Period. And and uh, but that takes discipline, though. It do. Yeah, it takes discipline. Come on, man. If you ain't got no discipline, you just gonna. You gonna do a Facebook post about it and then go eat that same thing that you said you wasn't gonna do. Yeah. Right, because that soul food will be fire, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fire. It, it is fire. Let's do it once a month. We lay exactly. Out. We lay down and sit right here. Yeah. I do it once a month. Right here. Yeah, yeah. Mac and cheese. What I'm we're not saying, basically, we're just saying, we, 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 while eating healthy, we're not saying that you can't never eat no fuck shit or you can't eat no junk food <laughs> but what we're saying is is that have a foundation built you know what i'm saying have a l learn how to eat something healthy on a regular basis so then when you when you have your cheat day or you want to cheat you can always come back to your foundation we were talking about that earlier yeah. once you once you build that foundation which is going to take discipline like my guy says right. but once you once you build that foundation to where you're like okay start it off slow you you don't got to go at everybody's pace you don't got to be vegan tomorrow maybe start off with juicing once a day and then you know or whatever but whatever it may be you got to start off and be comfortable with where you're starting. Don't do too much. Start off slow and grow. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I do that a lot with a lot of things. I start off slow and then I grow. And uh, you know, if you just got to move at your own pace, but uh, you, you got to open your mind. You got to be disciplined. Do too, do too much, you might quit. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 
So, uh, what do you think? What's what's the what's the relationship if there is one? And I, I believe there is. Yeah. But what's the relationship between exercise and spirituality? That was a good question, Dave. Discipline. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, you got to think like if you crave something that you know that ain't cool for you, and you turn it down, it's like a spiritual thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the that, that's the devil. You saying no to it? Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> Shit. The, what we call we call it the flesh. Yeah. So it's like, ah, oh, well, I really want to, but I know I shouldn't do that. Yeah. So I'm not gonna do that. So it creates a certain type of discipline. But I think when you're more disciplined, spiritual, obviously, you can. It's physical. Both of them go hand in hand. Yeah. yeah. But it's a constant work every day, though, because um, we all gonna want to do what we used to. What I, you know, what I'm saying, what our body say, just go do this. Right. Like when it comes to sugars. Yeah. We don't want to just eat sugars all the time. All right. Yeah, that shit fire. Yeah, wow. Everything, <laughs> yeah. but it's a lot of certain stuff where you be like, "Well, man, that's probably not the best thing for me all the time to be doing this." Or yeah. once you start having that certain type of information, so I do feel like it's spiritual because self control is spiritual. Yeah, mm. Damn, Damn, that's you know, crazy. That's yeah. true. Self control is spiritual. Yeah. spiritual. Yeah. Self control because we all know, man, you know, I know self control. You yeah. doing just you just so really, you, got, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not cool. So, so really, it's about. Doing what's right. Right. I mean, knowing what's right, you know, and knowing what you want to do, mm-hmm. if, you know, what you feel like doing and being able to make that decision. Yeah, because what like, you feel like all, doing ain't always right, though. We are Nah, that. shit. Half the time, what you feel time. like doing ain't right, shit. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? So, that type of, like, understanding that to be like, nah, it'll help you in other parts of your life. Because you got to think, if you got self-control over your food, I guarantee everything in your life will come together. Yeah. I was going to use the word discipline, but self-control is the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. Like, you control what you, because everybody got a problem with eating. Yeah. Who don't? Nah, you right. Come on, man, who don't? From man? skinny to, skinny to yeah, the biggest yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah. No, that's real talk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We live in America, too. It's like, this is the land of the glutton. Yeah. And I ain't saying like that, but like, we, even me, I eat too much. Like, yeah. I be eating, man, I'll sit and eat some time and be like, man, we're eating all that. Yeah. Right. Here's the thing. Here's the, here's, here's, here's the thing that I feel too. That, bro. Sometime, like, to be completely honest, like, for instance, like, Pete taught me how to eat healthy probably like two or three years ago, and I just grew on it. Like I said, I started slow because right. I was going to the gym that I lead at fucking gym and go eat some fried chicken. And this nigga's like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? Like, <laughs> you just ruined everything. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> the first thing about it is you got to be conscious of it because here's the thing: if you're not conscious. Of eat, uh, about eating healthy, if you're not conscious of it, you might think the shit that you eating every day is cool. Right. I thought the shit I was eating every day, I was going to fucking Burgerville getting three double beef cheeseburgers <laughs> uh, uh, twice a week. Yeah, right. look, right. and fucking, and then I, then then one day I fucking I had appendicitis, right. yeah, and I had to fucking go to the hospital, and I had, I had to tell my doctor, I'm like, he like, well, I, I, he was like, do you eat healthy? I was like, hell yeah, I eat healthy. Then I told him what I was eating, he was like. You eat, he's like, you eat three double beef cheeseburgers from Burgerville? He's like, you know how much fucking beef that is? You know what I'm saying? So, so it was like, and, and, but, but, no water. that's what I'm saying, at all. And then, and, then, and then my light bulb came on and I had to think like, because I'm thinking, I'm thinking because I'm skinny, I can eat three double beef cheeseburgers, but that's damn near half a fucking cow, nigga. That's a baby calf on my plate. You know what I'm saying? So I had to, he had to bring that to my attention. I got conscious and even though I thought I was eating healthy, I got I, I started eating even healthier. Mm-hmm. You know, and, 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 and I really paid attention. You know what I mean? I, I really paid attention. So yeah, and they, and they say that eating healthy, man, keeps your mind clear. You know, and sure. it keeps your body, you know, light and and fresh, and you know, you're able to think clear and you're able to make better decisions. Um, your energy's better, like yeah. everything, from what I understand. Yeah, it helps your thinking. It helps you. I feel like if it wasn't for me going to the gym on a daily basis. And eating healthy like I do, I'm, I'm eating egg whites, oatmeal, vitamins. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of shit I be on. Pino, we be on the same shit. But I feel like if it wasn't for that, a lot of I wouldn't be able to fulfill my task as a businessman as like you know as as good as I do. Like mm-hmm. I wouldn't be able to run from. I, I might not be able to go from one pop up to the next. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, in one day, yeah. bust down and go over there oh, yeah. because 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 what. Because what I'm putting in my body is making me feel good, and 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 me exercising my body is making me feel good, and both of those things contribute to me being able to be on full tank. You know what I'm saying? Right. All day. All day. Period. All day. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, yeah. Period. Period. Uh, what, what what was your motivation to get started and to keep going? The way I look. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So when you first started, yeah, when you first started, bro. What it was, was the way I looked the first because I was skinny. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. And then I got in the gym and I was like, whoa, who? Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what about how the females felt though? Because yeah. I ain't gonna lie. First time a girl chick grabbed my shoulder and was like, ooh, be wall. I was like, 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying, bitch? You know what I'm saying? I'm out of here. You ain't know? Yeah. Oh, oh you thought I was playing? Yeah, you know what I'm nah, I mean, I think that that was obviously the beginning motivation. Man. That's how you feel. Mm-hmm. How you feel? Anybody know when you get in there, you feel good. Yeah. Especially if you look good, though. You yeah. Feel good, though. Nah, yeah, yeah. That, when you, yeah. yeah. Come on, man. Hey, it's a that's drug. The, that's the bottom line. For any of you, you can say, "Oh, bro, I just nah. You did it because you look good and you feel good." Mm-hmm. Yeah. That yeah. would kept me going, and then I did my research, understanding everything else behind it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, so you, you actually read, family. You actually read up and, and study it. Yeah, for sure. You got to. Why not? On this anything guy. you, on anything you believe in, you should study it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, I would think so. If yeah, you believe yeah. in something, yeah. you should go study about what you, whatever you believe in. Well, yeah. So you, so can, you can be the best at it. Exactly. And you can excel at it. Mm-hmm. If you, if you, you know what I'm saying. If you ain't gonna study about what you believe in or what you say. Do you, you really believe in it? No. Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not I mean, at all. No. Yeah, do you really? If you if you if you don't want to know more, do you really believe in it? No. Yeah, not at all. Hey, bro, do you got a favorite like um, celebrity? I don't know, trainer or gym or myself. You? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> black man, that's that's black man that can fit you, bitch. Nah, I mean, I, I seen a lot of dudes. I don't know, push jail. I seen dude. I learned how to do the plow magic from him. Mm-hmm. I don't know what happened to him. I ain't seen dude in a minute. He might have went back to the pen. Look how he just got out. Yeah, I've been saying, one of that nigga biceps exploded. Yeah, I don't that know. That nigga what somebody he put a pen. I don't know, but I learned from him. And it's been a lot of old dudes arms, though. deflated. I, I just be into the, a lot of the uh, the dudes on the East Coast, so they be doing that bar work. Mm, mm-hmm. That bar work, yeah. They be more inspiring me, like more than anything else. Man, do you, do you, let me ask you another question. Do you Have you created an exercise? Because I feel like you. Nah, I don't. I should too. Oh, nah, 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 nah. He be doing some stuff. Nah, 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 nah. Real talk. Shit, nah, I made look. Up a few joints, I know. Though. I, 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 here's the thing. Made here's the thing. We go. We we gonna get into a quick break. But here's the thing. I, what we gonna do is for uh, there's a lot of y'all that do know. But for y'all that don't know. know. We gonna we, we we gonna show you some of this some of this niggas crazy ass killer right, workout right. so you can be informed so you can understand why we speak yeah. so highly of him. Right. Be right back, man. You heard? Stacking black. P Town Media. And you're locked. <laughs> that break man here with easy mccoy chopping it up breaking it down talking about fitting this music man and some more good shit so peep gang as we continue man you dig yeah you know so yeah we we going through the you know the uh the black man it can fit you know uh lifestyle right now right, right? Mm-hmm. you know right. so uh now as far as um the benefits like what what would you say has been the greatest reward you know for all the work you put in and your fitness you know, health, the commitment. Eat, you know, eating right. Like, you know, there's got to be something that's like the like, commitment. Like, How well, I think, the biggest you know, reward. Like, like the mentality that come behind it. Because, mm. because you know, like when you stay focused on something like fitness or eating, like that spills spills over into your business. Yeah. Mm. You feel like you can do anything. Yeah, to your relationships, the way you kind of conduct yourself with your children, or yeah. the people that you run across. across just because you more level headed, you more clear minded. Yeah. When you live in your life like that. Yeah. When you think about that, like when you live in your life on a constant idea of leveling up, yeah. controlling your physical, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, That's why he's like, so smooth right now. <laughs> this, you know what I'm saying? But no, you know what I'm saying? My- all those type of things, like that, that, that mentally. Then that goes into spiritually, which leads into physically, and we now we full circle with everything. Oh, right. I'm feeling that. Now we full circle. Yeah, that's real with, talk with everything. And, 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 and my guy ain't lying, bro. Like 
I mean, even though you know y'all might have saw the clips of him getting down doing his thing. Uh, one thing I can say about you my know. guys, he always no, no, it, no. He no, he talking oh, about the you know, fight. he told the bonus oh, oh, fight. Oh, we gonna, we gonna talk about that later. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm talking about getting down to the gym. Oh yeah, but 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 getting down to the gym, I, uh, it, you know, doing his thing. It's like yeah, <laughs> this nigga's crazy. That nigga said getting down. But um, yeah, you know, on. my guy. One thing I can say about him is no matter what. Even with the with the tough workouts that he does, he's continually he's never satisfied. He's always trying to push himself. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, he's right. always trying to be better. He's always trying to know more. He's always trying to um, uh, get knowledge on 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 fitness and whatever. You know what I'm saying? He might see somebody do something. He'd be like, shit, fuck that. I can do that either. I can do it exactly. just as good or better. Or exactly. one hand. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. yeah. So so you know that that's that that's. You know, and that's one thing I can say with just me being on my consistent run in the gym. I probably say mm. I think I'm about six years too, maybe like five, five or six consistently. Mm. And it's like you know when you, when you, when you get in the gym, I feel like it takes away doubts when you get in the gym right, right, and, yeah. and 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 you get in there and, and and you think you might not be able to hit that 225, but you work your way up and you hit it. It's like it's almost like you said. It helps you in life because you go out and you feel like, man, I did that. Right. It's almost like when you leave the gym, you believe you can do anything. anything. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. Period. Like, like especially like, and I'm not uh, as a man. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not taking another away from women. But like, as a man, when you leave that gym and, and, and you go in there and you and you discipline and, and you and you go in there, and you lifting weights and you go hard and you do what you're supposed to and you get up early when motherfuckers are still asleep. Exactly. You know what I'm Real saying? Talk. And, talk. That it, 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 it's it's a feeling that it gives you, bro. It, it makes you feel great and not to downplay nobody yeah, else, yeah. but it just makes you feel like, man, I nah, can't we, be stopped. And you ain't downplaying nobody else. That's a different type of discipline. They can sleep to nine. I'm up at 6.30 though. Right? Yeah. I'm on my way. Yeah. I'm drinking water. I'm doing, this is what I want to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, it, but, but you know, mentally, like, it takes it to a feel like, okay, I conquered this. But well, man, going out to the world is a lot easier. Though. Yeah. I'm understanding the game. I'm studying. Okay, I know what I'm doing. I know how I'm moving. And I conquered this. Because it's the hardest part for anybody. Nah, People claim, uh, uh, complain. That discipline? They complain more about their physical appearance. This. How they feeling mm -hmm. yeah. more than anything else. You complain about this first. That's why you have trouble, troubles at your job. Yep. Right, that's right. why you're having yep. troubles in your relationship. Yep. That's why you're angry because you're physical. Yeah. And, about and, and, on, and you man. lack the discipline. Yeah. Then you lack the discipline to excel in them other areas. Right. Yeah. It all comes back to discipline. If you don't got the discipline to get in the gym and do right for yourself, why in the fuck would you do right at some job that you work for somebody else? Right. Why, why, why are you gonna give your all? You don't even. You ain't even gonna give your all to you. you ain't even gonna give your all to, to yourself. yourself. To yourself. <laughs> so you ain't gonna give it to nobody else either. And you know, some people, and some people might not feel that, but I mean, you know, that's the that's the reality. That, of that, that's it. real to me yeah. because yeah. I feel like. Work on yourself. You complain about yourself and you control that. Nobody controls you. Nope. Right, right. Who nope. controls you? You. Yep. Unless you let somebody. Yeah. But that's corny. Yeah. So you control you. You yeah. can control what you choose to do and what you want to do with yourself. Yeah. Come on, man. And you can control how you see the world after that. You know what I'm saying? And you won't be so disappointed and down right. on yourself right. because you feel, you know, physically adept to be able to handle challenges. Even though you might feel like you can knock a nigga block off. That's gonna raise your confidence, but don't knock it off. But yeah. just know that you can. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the beauty in it. You know, so and people don't understand how fast a year though can change your life. Like, For real talk, mm -hmm. like one year is not a long time. No, no, you ain't missing nothing, bro. Real talk, you could be seeing results in six months. Yeah, easily. Major results. And you're not missing nothing. You could just do an hour in the gym yeah. if you wanted to a day. Yeah. Right, right. I hate going to the gym with niggas, man. And like, you know, we good there. We ready to work out. Um, I, cause I'm, I'm kind of off my workout right now. I ain't gonna lie, but I did work out consistently for like ten years. Yeah. Until I started getting the business and I got hella busy. Yeah. But y'all got me ready to get back. Fuck that. You gotta make time. But 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 the point is, yeah, right, the point right. is, when niggas say they want to work out with you and they go in there to do two or three things for ten minutes, are you ready to go? It's like man, nah, that's, nigga. that's crazy to me. And like once yeah. I get in there, I can't do no less than no less than forty five minutes minimum. Oh, you know, yeah. oh, you mean like work out talk. I'm talking about, hey. yeah, when you go work out with somebody, oh, and they, yeah. you know, and, and they do a couple. In 45 minutes, I mean, for me, it's for the old people. We got to go at least two hours. Oh, this nigga's crazy. crazy. Niggas, 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 Hold on. I, I, never, did more, I never did no more than like an hour and 15 nah, look, minutes. No, look, look, look. Hey, man, my nah, level's you, different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do I'm two a, hours, bro? Maybe this nigga might be in there that long, but, but but we talking about three. sauna, we talking about we sauna. talking about yeah, oh, yeah. it's a whole we lifestyle. The combo pack. It's a whole yeah. lifestyle in there. I'm trying to work on my blood cells in the sauna. Mm. We doing here's the thing. thing. Mm. We doing here's the thing. Out. Yeah, here's, here's the oh, thing. Okay. Here's the thing. On, when man. people once you get in that gym, because that's where it starts. You get in that gym. 
You get a you get a you get a regular program that works for you. Right. Then you get to be in there and you get to meeting people who are doing other things, showing you other things that you don't know. Mm -hmm. So then you learn, then, then your mind, then you get to thinking, man, damn, okay, well, shit, I can be better. You know what I'm saying? And then I ain't gonna lie, like the way I feel, like when I come in the, when I come in the gym, sometimes people be like, B, man, come over here, man, do this shit. And I and sometimes I ain't gonna lie, I don't be wanting to do this shit, but I'll be like, fuck it, man. I'll be, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm though, learning like, something, oh, yeah. Like, damn. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. And nine times out of ten, when he show me something, then I'm like, the human mind, when you when you might not even want to learn it, but once you learn, you feel good about it. And he showed me something, I'll be like, ooh, then I'm gonna start doing it. I'm gonna add that to my repertoire. Yeah, yeah, you, learn you know a what I'm lot. saying? So yeah. the foundation is you just getting in the gym. You get to learn. You get to meet people who are thinking like you, who have discipline like you. It's damn near like going to church for your for for, for, for your spiritual. Right. You know what I'm saying? The gym is the church for your for, for your physical. And, and period. One, like, and one, if you're a hater, you should go to the gym. Yeah, yeah. 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 You should. You should go to the gym and work out on yourself. Yeah, man. You won't be a hater no more. I promise you. Nah. You gonna you you gonna be a congratulator because you gonna be in there looking at you gonna be seeing you know yeah. what I'm saying all the little chicks on the elliptical with the nice little oh, swim yeah. with the thumpers and all that. Yeah. You gonna get some motivation. Man, one thing I learned in the gym. That's just a, you know. Yeah. Man, one thing I learned in the gym, man, is that uh, the conversations I had with strangers is yeah. crazy. So I really, it made but you me, notice how so it was always positive? It made me realize that most people that are successful in the gym are successful outside the gym. Period. Yeah. That's what I that's learned a great about point. the gym. That's a great point. What do you think, bro? Am that's I right great. on that? No, 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 no. That's no, a great I point. Say, yeah. Because, because like, good it all comes back there. to discipline. Mm -hmm. They they have discipline in their lives. Right. For, for us to get up and go to the gym four or five days a week, you think that that shit sounds easy, but it ain't. Right. Especially right. when you have lives, when you, you have children, when you got, yeah, you got jobs. But the thing is, you got to make it important to you because... If, if if you're out here living and you want to continue to live, you got to. It, that 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 that's more important than anything. Like 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 my nigga MTZ, Mike Taylor. Shout out to Mike Taylor. He said today on a post. I don't give a fuck how much money you got. Nobody cares about how much money you got. Right. If you're not if if you're not healthy, you ain't gonna be here to spend it. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Health is the real wealth, man. So you always gotta, no matter what you're doing. It ain't that hard to do. You ain't like, oh, yeah. I, I'm getting, I'm getting a bag. I can't get to the gym. Cut it out. Yeah. You got, yeah. Now you, you can got, make time. You got bag. You actually got time to go to the gym because you got Not the bag. bag. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Get you know, your lazy ass. Yeah. Go spend some of that. Uh, spend some of that. Uh, that money that you've been making illegally and been paid for a fucking gym membership. Or legally. Whatever you've been <laughs> doing with it. Right? You're in the bag yeah. legally. Like, you know, I'm finna go work on, you know what I'm saying? You might not be, you can still be a hater. <laughs> Yo, man, you I got a, still be a hater. I got, I got a big cousin. That nigga bigger than me. I got a big cousin in Louisiana, man, named Sean, and he like, he heavy into like nutrition and, you know, gym. He been like that kind of his whole life. And he always talked to me, he always preaching, like, man, you know what I'm saying? You're doing all this shit, man. You know, you, you got the cold, you, you write books, and, you know, you got the <laughs> radio show, nigga. Nigga, what you gonna do if you get sick, nigga? What you gonna do if you get sick, nigga? How you gonna do all that shit if you sick? Yeah, no, you know and what they, I'm saying? But, but that's the real <laughs> shit. I'm like, damn. Yeah, yeah. I was like, this nigga, boy, he cold. Sometimes the way nigga bring it to you, but, 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 yeah, but, it's real. but that's how you gotta say it because. I respected that, though. Because, I don't, bro, like, real talk, I was just telling P earlier, man, like, if I, I don't give a fuck how much I've always I know how to make money I can get money yeah, you know what I'm saying sure. that that that's never been yeah that's yeah. a that's a family thing I know how to get money right. but that don't make me feel complete that don't make me feel like a man that don't make me feel right. that it just getting money so I'm, I can survive I can I, you know I might throw a couple dollars at you chicks get your weave done and all that but like when it comes down to it I, I don't I, like what makes me feel whole what makes me feel complete is being healthy. Waking up in the morning, I don't give a fuck how much money I make in a day. If I didn't go to the gym, I just wasted a day on my life. Mm -hmm. And that's how I feel. Because I can't take all that money to the grave. The gym is going to keep me alive. That exercise, that, that, that eating. spend the money. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so, so while you niggas is 52 with, 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 with 3 million, nigga, I'm 82 with 10 million. Uh, <laughs> and I'm just saying, and I've been spending 30 more years. So then, when, 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 when your chick, when, when, when you die and your widow, she coming to fuck with black mannequin. 
She gonna be because I got the guap and I'm and, and then I'm gonna have her. She gonna be drinking cucumber slices and she gonna have, <laughs> he gonna be eighty and this girl still gonna be twenty two. <laughs> hey, for real. <laughs> hey, nigga, ain't like, <laughs> hey, hey, and I'm gonna look like this because right. nigga I've been on them fruit juices twice a day. Me and yeah. Pete, we gonna be in the gym. All the shit, we gonna be in the gym. Nigga still gonna have here. I'm gonna have great braids. <laughs> All that for real. I'm looking buff as shit. My line ain't going nowhere. Yeah, and in there, in there, yeah, in there teaching twenty one year old niggas how to lift. Right. Niggas yoga. Yeah, taking their bitches at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> man, yeah, man, man, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's an amazing show today. Oh yeah. Uh, so, so where we at? Here, th now this right here, this is a great question because my nigga P would be in the gym. Uh, matter of fact, if y'all ever want to come fuck with us, man, we on 181st and Halsey, usually in the morning. You know what I'm saying? 24-hour fitness You want to jump in, it's $50. Yeah. <laughs> Can't be the thing, man. And if you follow him on IG, they man. They just want to jump in for free every yeah, week. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to all my people that's working out there. Matter of fact, too, Aspen. Aspen. We see you, mommy. I see you in the gym doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Aspen <laughs> Capers. Hey, you looking great. Keep it up. <laughs> hey. You're on your way to the top. I just want to give her. I just want to give her a little right, shout right. out. You know what I mean? All right. Cheers, so, man. <laughs> hey, for real. So, what are some of the do's and don'ts in the gym? Man, do what you know how. Don't do what you don't know how. How about that? Yeah, for real, man. Don't try to be in there doing what you don't know how. Ask somebody a question. I mean, I, I mean, I think, I don't know. Really how, often do, how often do we see motherfuckers on machines All the time. that, that ain't even doing it right? Because the trainers ain't about... Them trainers be leaving y'all hanging, man. Come holler at me, man. $10, I'll show you what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, but I'm saying, I think just don't try to do nothing crazy. And I think everything is self-explanatory. I don't know why you would be doing something you know how to do in the gym. YouTube. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, it's I mean, often though you see a motherfucker on a machine, and sometimes I come, I'll be like, "Man, what the fuck are they doing? What are you doing?" Yeah, I, I, that's man. not how you're supposed to be using but that. But usually though, yeah, I'm trying to break say. his own. Read leg. the fucking sticker, man. But they're not. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like they're not. Like my folks was in there. My folks was in there doing something weird, weird with the weight. They mm. from Africa. They're my folks. So mm. I just, I, I was like, "That's my folks." Mm. I realized they didn't, just, they didn't really know what it was saying. Mm. So, so did you do school? Yeah, 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 school. Uh, I was say, yeah, don't, 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 don't If you see somebody in the gym doing some fuck shit, don't just record it. Mm. I do yeah, that. I do that. Don't make me. I do that. I no, do no, that. no. No, I'm saying if you gonna record it, and if you know, at least at least go up and try to be like, man. It depends on what the fuck are you doing. Depends. Yeah. Them is my folks. Some people are my folks. Yeah, you right. You right. So you just record the ones that your folks and put them on my folks. But the people that's my folks. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. If she in the gym looking right, or she got like a fat ass, I'm gonna be like, "Excuse me, mommy." You do that. <laughs> Even if she's doing it right, let her know you're doing it wrong. Excuse me, mommy. Um, he, he, uh, he got like that 24 hour badge, and they say, "Be Walter." <laughs> he do. He got one in the back. He got one in the back. So how can I help you? Something? Yeah, he got hey, like, I'm the only nigga in the gym that can walk up behind a girl and say, "You need a spot." <laughs> <laughs> you need. He, he'll do that too, like you, the, like you the need OG, a spot. like your OG homie. <laughs> oh no. Oh, gee, it's bogus. Check this out. Here's the thing. If you're 70 plus in a gym, don't be running up trying to start conversations with all the young chicks. And, and, and here's a major don't. Here's a major don't. Now, for all my dudes who don't are not, are not very good at testing temperatures, what you need to do is, if you see a chick on the elliptical, first off, if you see a chick with headphones on, don't try to talk to her. Don't try to stop her or get her attention. She's not fucking with you. She's in the gym really to exercise. So that's a major don't. If you're a fucking cornball or a sleaze ball or a creep, sleaze ball. or you got a face that resembles a weasel, or a stay away from on. every girl. Nigga, that nigga, that nigga tank top like right here. Yeah, hey, He's don't run up. Right here. <laughs> nigga got pajama jams on. You know we do with them bands. Oh, what kind of shoes you wear? I don't oh, know. No. Stop me, working man. out on your dicky suit, man. Yeah. Oh, what's a few? Oh, niggas! Hey, hey! I done seen niggas in the gym with them fucking gar with Home Depot gardening gloves on. <laughs> nigga, grab you some. Oh, they got. Oh, they the one you get in jail though, man. Yeah, and nigga, they just got nigga, out of jail. Nigga, nigga, nigga be in there. Nigga, 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 walk from every station like this with the ankle bracelet on. Yeah, looking like a super <laughs> crip or a nigga, a nigga that just got out doing seventeen years in the feds. And then he keep looking in the mirror in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Nigga, we know you got that beater from Inverness. You know what I'm saying? Tuck that shit in. <laughs> wow. Nigga, <laughs> but wow. That's a major don't. But like I said, back to the ladies. It, most chicks don't want to talk to you in the gym, fam. 
if she wants to talk to you, then she'll probably come up to you, or she'll just keep staring at you and never say anything. But <laughs> nowadays, I feel like it's at that, that type of gym, man. If they ain't got no mannequin on, it's just it's a. <laughs> Hey, come on, bro. Yeah, right. what the fuck? Yeah, not even like they're not even paying attention. Yeah, it's too many mannequins walking around that gym. Uh, uh. They they know they like yo. <laughs> he said they know. Yeah, man, we ain't talking about niggas with the clothes on. We talking about real mannequins. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's a big difference. It's a big difference. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, the the the, the <clears throat> but one of my last don'ts is um, now I don't. I don't, I'm not trying to put this in a way that we're like, I'm disrespecting or whatever, but I didn't see, you know, like, this, this, this is a major don't at the gym. This is a major don't at the gym. Like, motherfucking dudes always be in a dressing room butt ass naked. Now, uh -huh. if, 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 if that's how you, if that's, if that's how you used to growing up, that's cool. But, like, I don't really know nobody who grew up to where they butt ass naked and they drying their balls up under the, the hand dryer. On purpose. Like, yeah, nobody, none, no, nobody grew up like that. I don't care if you white, black. You didn't, yo, nah, yo, somebody had yeah, Nah, somebody you did. didn't grow up. And first off, motherfuckers don't got hand dryers in their house. Second off, you're not putting your fucking dick and whole balls up under the dryer. Nobody, you, you, you weren't raised like that, man. Some, some motherfuckers, people, that's, yeah, some yeah, people yeah, talk yeah. to them. Every time that's a major but, but you ain't <laughs> listen, man. I know this. The, 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 this what, 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 uh, we talking black, but there's never been a black person who's do that. No, nah, you right. No, I haven't. so so. But 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 now, nah, but I'm gonna keep it real. I done seen niggas walking around in the, in the locker room, but but, but butt ass naked and all that. Oh, and, I and, and, that. And, and, and and here's the thing. Yeah. I'm not. I, I, I I'm not knocking it, but it's like. I'm not, I'm not gonna be in there doing that, bro. I'm not I'm not just gonna be in there. I'm, I'm not just gonna be in the gym like that, bro. This ain't my this ain't this ain't your house. You know what I'm saying? And then sometimes you might catch a nigga joint on accident. Like you might be you might close your locker and the nigga look over at you, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> bro. I I sock a naked nigga, huh, nigga? Oh, he a wrestler? I'll take off. No, I'm not wrestling. I'm just gonna just sock you, nigga. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? To the ground, nigga. I'm not playing with that shit. Well, some, yeah. Yeah. Like hold your head some people yeah. was yeah. taught yeah. to yeah. use the urinal butt naked. Um, you know, nigga, when you're up. five. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I mean, I, I don't never. I really haven't seen a lot of black people do that, like you said. No, you're right, not black people. I'm just talking about in general as 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 men. Yeah. Stop drying your balls. Stop at the 24. Stop getting but, butt ass naked and like drying you your balls naked, yeah. up under the motherfucking hand dryer, man. That's not what it's for, man. It's a hand dryer, not a ball dryer. Bring your own towel. You know what I'm saying? Dry your balls with your fucking towel, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You Major have. don't. So, yeah, you have the right to be naked, but no, you don't have to be. <laughs> That's the point. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, Who y'all niggas talking to? Whoever. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever hey, Brian talking to. I don't hey, know how to do it. I ain't no, been I'm saying, Hey, no. Hey. We said we said we, we was talking about what are the dudes and don'ts of uh, the gym. So that's what I'm saying. That's that's. Oh, a don't. so don't be in there naked. Yeah, don't if you don't be in there drying your balls under the fucking hand dryer. Right. This nigga done forgot. This nigga done smoked too much trees. Nigga done forgot we was even talking about. <laughs> he thought we had. He thought yeah. it was a sub. Dang. <laughs> that nigga was like you, nigga. Man, what you. The fuck? What's, is, what, what's the next subject? Yeah, 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 he yeah, know what we talking, talking to. About. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so now we so, got now we got to get to one of the most important parts of the show because it's a lot of people that's been probably out there listening, probably feeling hella guilty. Probably feeling okay. hella guilty out there, you know, and want to know where do I start, Sophie? Yeah, is that okay to call you that? Yeah. Oh, I thought that's easy, talking, McCoy. I thought we were talking about the ratchet of the week. No, no, no. Well, week you can still drink. No, we ain't at the ratchet of the week yet. But oh, wait, you know, you don't mind if I, I mean, could I, Sophie? What am I, Sophie? That's nigga that had too many old fashions. That's where the original, you know, name came right. from. But oh. that's how I met him. But right. what I'm saying is, what people probably want to know is, including me. Yeah. Right. Where do we start, man? Like, what's what's five? Right. Like, say a person say, you know what? Easy. I ain't never been healthy, and I ain't never worked out in my life. What are five things you suggest that I do to get this get this started? Because I, mean, that I can that I can start soon. I mean, you gotta want it. 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 And what's the other four things? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta want it. You gotta want it. You gotta. I mean, I feel like no, you know, no. We know what you gotta want to do, but what do you have to do? Well, you gotta. I mean. You gotta want it. I, I feel like I can't tell you your program, 
Like you, you might not be able to get up at five thirty or six thirty in the morning. Me and do what I do. Yeah. You might not. Yeah, but 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 but, but you might want. But you could be like, uh, well, you know, first thing you need well, to well, start well, getting up early. Well, I can, whenever well, that is. Well, yeah. well, I, well, I can give you the cliche. Yeah, get just up early, little, bro. Just universal. You should yeah. eat right, bro. You need to drink water, bro. Yeah. Hey, bro, you should go and get a membership, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, you want to get in shape, bro? You should. You should stop eating that, bro. But like, you gotta want it though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you want it, you are gonna figure it out. Yeah. Let's be honest. If somebody wants something, like they gonna figure it out. I'm not waiting for no, nobody. You're right. I'm not I waiting did this, for nobody. I didn't know nothing about selling clothes, but I wanted it. But you wanted See, it. I didn't figure it out. Nobody tell me what I want. If I want it and I want to change, I'm gonna figure it out at some point. I'm gonna go around to different people. I'm gonna look it up. We got the we, internet. We got all types of shit out there. We got we got friends that go to the gym. You can you can. You know, How many times we online? So 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 maybe you know ask somebody, do some research. Yeah. Because um, everybody online Research being anyway. eating healthy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, we choose what research. we follow, right? Don't we choose what we follow online? Yeah. Get we you a membership. What we Google. We choose what we. <laughs> said we choose what we Google. Yeah, <laughs> we choose all that. So if you really want to know about how can I do this, how can I do this? Oh, where do I go? What do I do? And you can always city. Come on, you man. can always tap in with us. You can always, always message us. You got any questions? At Easy McCoy, yeah. at the Black Mannequin Fit, at the Real oh, Black man. Mannequin, at Stacking Kicks. Yeah. And uh, you know we, yeah. we 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 here for you. But I, I mean I I agree on that. I feel like I just feel like it's that that's yeah. where it starts at, and everything else. Then you could figure it out after that. You gonna figure so it out. So basically, if you really really want it, you don't have to ask nobody. A motherfucker. Well, no, that's the thing. He's right. right because here's the thing: if you don't want it, don't none of the rest of them things matter at all. When you really want to do something, like, yo, I'm finna get it done. It's no different me learning uh, plyometric push-ups and how to do a Superman push-ups. But I didn't have nobody teach me. I just watched dudes online yeah. every day. And I just practiced. I did it in my living room. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to do it. So I was like, I'm finna do it in my living room. Yeah. I went to dinner. I go home to spend 30 minutes, and I figured it out. And once I got it, I was doing 30 inch vertical. I'm jumping all up on stuff. Yeah. But I did it. There was nobody to teach. There was nobody in Portland doing that. I yeah. there's not one no, person. Agree, agree. No, no, no. I don't, no, no, no. I don't either. Well, that's, that, that's what we used to use. It was like, oh, they trying, y'all trying to praise. But it's, it's like, yeah, because we don't know nobody that's doing it. Except that. maybe Libretto. Oh, that nigga's big as shit. Yeah, that nigga's big. Yeah. Hey, yeah. so you got you got them exercises on the your IG, the Black yeah, Mannequin Fit? It. So yeah. the Black Mannequin Fit. Yeah. 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 At the Black Mannequin Fit. And I just want to let y'all know, too. Um, you know, like yeah. you said, you got to want it. But one thing I want to let everybody know is... And, 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 and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. If you really want to make a change, you can. Yeah. It can happen. Yeah. Like, period. Yeah. Like, it don't matter. It, 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 it don't matter who you are. It don't matter where you came from. It don't matter your nationality. It don't matter none of that. If you really want it, you can make a change. You get in that gym. You do what's comfortable for you. And, you know what I'm saying? You stay get to consistent. see them. Re- stay consistent. And you get to see the results. You know what I'm saying? Consistency yeah. is key. But starting is the tough part. And I just want to let you know, for all the people who you just getting started in the gym, I know... That, that first week is tough, you know what I'm saying? That pain, it fucks you up, you know what I'm saying? But you got to push through that. That's going to make you stronger, man, mentally and physically. So And, and keep in mind, um, you know, I listen to, uh, you know, I kind of like Will Smith, too, you know, as far as his motivation stuff, because he be going yes. kind of deep. Yes. You fuck with him, too? That's my guy. Yeah, so one thing I, I learned from him is that he said, you know, when you really want to do something, you just decide that's what you're going to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, and he basically cool. said, once you decide everything just kind of opens up and makes way because mm-hmm. so everything you do and think is kind of based off those decisions you know and you think, things start to manifest you start seeing things related to the things that you already decided and committed to do you know mm-hmm. like you said with the clothing business like we didn't i didn't know how to start either i just knew that that's what i was going to do mm-hmm. one way or another i knew i was going to do that regardless mm-hmm. and so we had the hustle part of the so, game. yeah yeah and you know and so using that same that same philosophy like on um, you know working out eating healthy you know even having healthy relationships and everything else that, you know, being mentally and spiritually sound come to, making that decision is, is a important, the most important step, I think. And then things usually open up and you start to see where you're supposed to be at and you get there, you know? Yeah. Believe you can do it because you can. You know and then I mean? just do it. Period. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, uh, That's it, though. Yeah, just shit. You, you got to dive, you got you to dive in that pool, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to dive in that pool. Nike said that. Even that, that's one of the, we all got Nikes on just at some it. point. Yeah, yeah. At some point, and, 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 and that was like a simple, just do it. Just do it. I mean, if you just do something, man, and go after it, I'm pretty sure you'll accomplish it if you keep going. Period. 
Right, that's a crazy. That's, that's a crazy philosophy though. To just do it when you really break it down. Yeah, <laughs> just go do it. Just go do. It. I'm finna just figure it out. Yeah. Like, like you know, we just gonna figure it out. Yeah, yeah. and we gonna figure it out on our way. And, and we figure out everything like, else. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah, like. Come on, man. How you, how you found want, out your baby daddy was cheating? Want, yeah, you know how'd you find yeah, to figure that out? Yeah, yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? He said, yeah. "Bitch, you did research." <laughs> you know, you like, did, oh, I, yeah. I know, I know for fact he's cheating. And, and I'm just, I'm seventeen just, different bitches. <laughs> But just yeah, stuff like we, that, you know, like we went from we went from Nike to oh. Daddy's. <laughs> I know, I'm yeah, we, we, we were a little. Off we just having fun, bro. Hey, but you know, shit, we in the zone, man. But you know what I'm saying? just to re- re- relating the things that they have done, you know, like they have made commitments to stuff like stuff that really don't make no sense, and yeah. they succeeded in finding those yeah, things. Real talk. And so, like, you can use that same energy, you know, to decide to work out or decide to eat healthy or period, yeah. decide to be spiritually sound or mentally. Uh, adept, you know all these things, man. Like it's doable. Apply yourself, y'all. Y'all seen DJ Fatboy? Fatboy used to eat seventeen burgers a day. Now this motherfucker wears a fucking medium mannequin shirt. He stand next to me. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Fatboy too. Right. Uh, that that, that right him. there. Yeah, Fatboy. That 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 right there is a. If if you know DJ Fatboy, yeah, if you know Fatboy, if you know Fatboy and where he came from, this motherfucker Fatboy said he used to eat nine cheeseburgers before the DJ said. <laughs> yeah. Now this motherfucker he like ain't nine man. cheeseburgers. Yeah, he did. Back. He looked like he looked like he looked like Bluto or Popeye. Yeah, he, he did, did look like fucking Bluto. Bluto. He, he was, was swollen as shit. Arms, his whole body. He looked like a oompa. Doompa, doompa, he looked like one of the marshmallows off the Ghostbusters. You know? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, Stay Puft. Yeah. Wow, he did. Damn, that's that fucked was, up. Now, now he Mark Wahlberg. The Mexican State Club. Now he Mark Wahlberg. Nah, yeah, he man. back. He back. Shout out, shout out to Fat Boy too, man. Real <laughs> talk, man. And he keep it going. He's gonna shout out Fat Boy for all that shit. <laughs> nah, cause cause he ain't Fat Boy anymore. Motherfucker, Skinny Boy. We can't change his name at this point. I like that he didn't change the name though, so that lets you know where he come from. Yeah, I respect that. And, and, and he always shows old pictures of where he came from. Like yeah. sometimes when I be seeing Fat Boy, I'm like, damn. I'll be like, that was you. Damn, you was like, fat as shit. Mm-hmm. Like a whole bunch of grease. Yeah, motherfucker look like a a, a, a bacon cheeseburger nigga with a pound of olive oil. <laughs> but now though, yeah. but he yeah. did his thing. Oh, now he chiseled like yeah. a T-bone. No steak though. That shit shit vegan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Is he? Is he? Is Fat Boy vegan? Nah, but I'm just saying he uh-huh. looked. He looked vegan. Yeah, yeah. Like slim as a motherfucker. You're doing something. Man. Shout out to Fat Boy, man. Shout out. Time. Health is well. You know what I'm saying? We got into shit, shit, my guy, man. We appreciate him coming through. He gave us some good game. We're going to have him coming back soon. But you know what the fuck time it is. Get started, man. Man, it's time for the Ratchet of the Week. Oh, shit. You dig? And of course, you know what I'm saying? It's only suitable. We're in the town. It's only right. Ratchet of the Week. All my people, y'all going to feel me on this. Damian Lillard versus Shaq. Rap battle, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's 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 that's. Are the they both the ratchets or just the battle the ratchet? I feel like it was just both. They both ratchet. Yeah, they both ratchet. <laughs> and a, the a, a, lot, a lot of the bars they... that was spoken was ratchet, but like you know, as y'all all know, Shaq got on Dame first. I don't know. I think they said the Dame said something in an interview or something that they asking about yeah. rapping and shit. Yeah, he yeah. said. Yeah, talking about rapping. He said one well, better than Shaq, man. He said Shaq was just a basketball player. No, yeah, but Shaq like, was. Shaq went platinum. Platinum, <laughs> both, both, like like more bro. Than Shaq. Because I mean, in, in reality, even with Dame, the credibility comes more from him being a Hooper. Hooper. Both of them. More than him being just a rapper. Nigga, first. if Dame or if Dame or the nigga uh, Shaq would have tried to come out and be rappers and didn't hoop, nigga, nobody would be fucking with them. I'm <laughs> just keeping it real. No, 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 especially when you compare it to the top tier. Well, that's what I'm saying. We're just talking about just rappers, Dame. and I'm not taking nothing away from Shaq or Dame yeah, because heard. Shaq is platinum, and Dame, he got bars and he's getting better. Dame's getting away. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, no. And Dame no, no, no. killed Shaq. Dame tight, in my man. opinion, he murdered Shaq. But then, then, because I don't know why Shaq sound like I don't know where he recorded that at. Shaq recorded that oh, in, the, in, in, the, in, the, in the booty basement in Holocene. Yeah. <laughs> he was laying down. He was laying yeah, down when he recorded I that. No, but yeah, I mean, but then again, what can you really say bad about Shaq though? He's a legend though. He's yeah, Shaq. Shaq knew he was getting into it. He didn't mind. But they having fun. Yeah. I don't think he cared. Nah, I, think I think he knew Dave was going to demolish him. That's fun, man. They having fun with that. Damn, hey, shout out to Nonstop too. Nonstop. Crazy. That motherfucking beat was hot. That, that beat, uh, that was nonstop in the beat. town. Nonstop the hit man, yeah, you already know, man. Yeah, Putting the town on. He on ATL doing his thing. You dug that beat? Making bro? beats for Migos, all that. Yeah, no. Nah. Nonstop killed it. Dame's flow was crazy. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't even heard Shaq verse. But um Oh you yeah. haven't? No, nah, I'm I'm gonna trailblazer. I like how that. Shaq came. Uh, he, 
Did you see it, bro? Yeah, yeah I heard it. I heard it. But, but it's just, I mean, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Shaq I was get, playing games. That's but all. I couldn't get with the sound quality. I mean, yeah, it was you know, horrible. It was you horrible. Got, Shaq got way too much money for it to sound like Yeah, that. like that nigga was in somebody's garage. That's no, See, like, Shaq wasn't I, serious, man. I think he was playing. I just don't. And Dame was like, no, I take this serious. I'm going to the booth tonight. Bro, Dame just dropped the album. That nigga ain't playing. No. <laughs> Shaq <laughs> playing. But, but, though, I did. I mean, you know. Shaq made himself relevant again. Being an artist in the game, you know, I mean, you know, I don't know what. Nah, I can't, I can't believe it. Uh-huh. I, it, the nigga Dame said, Shaq "Gift to... bags every time you feeling horny." Right. That looks so like... translation, she nigga, you, you, the only time you're fucking is when you're spinning guap, when you're big tricking. And you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, probably. Yeah, you right. Dame was talking greasy, man. What else Dame say? Uh, he said you worked all the millions, but they traded you for a penny. Mm-hmm. I heard. I said, "Oh." Wow. Hey, them I said, bars. Wow. I said, "Wow." Them wow. bars was. <laughs> It was sharp jabs. But see, the thing is, the thing he came like, like, like the youngin in the game. He's like, oh, I'm finna give it to you, like on the battle rap, even if it ain't all true. Yeah, I'm just gonna give it to you, embarrass you with something that's not even true, but I'm still gonna make it sound good and embarrass you. And nigga, I'm from East Oakland. I'm, do you think, nigga, I'm not letting nobody, Dame ain't letting nobody talk crazy about him. You think they gonna go back to Brookfield and niggas gonna be like, damn, man, you let, you let the nigga Shaq eat you? The Shaq with the black toe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know Dan, what I'm saying? Dan was, Dan was East Oakland niggas don't give a fuck where you from, nigga. They, the niggas are disrespectful as shit. And uh, yeah, you can get it however you want it. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? So Dan, that's what we mean. That nigga, Dan, that nigga Dan said in this, in this case, the sequel's better than the original. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. He, he I mean, he it. was having fun. Dan gassed and bars. He definitely ran circles around him. I mean, but even healthy one. Yeah, Shaq can't move. Yeah. He just threw yeah. Shaq. And we just, we respect Shaq. So. He did a Barkley on that nigga Shaq. He grabbed him, that nigga yeah, by the knees yeah, and just, ah! Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. Shaq liked the energy, honestly. I think he enjoyed being back and having to argue with a nigga. But where did he record that at? Here's the, here, here's the thing. Shaq wouldn't have got on Dame if, if if Dame was a cornball. He wouldn't have wasted his time. So think about it. Niggas only shoot for niggas that's at the top. Yeah. Period. Yeah. So he's like, oh, okay, Dame. He, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't even address it if Dame wasn't a superstar like he is. Shaq knew that energy was coming and he wanted that. He wanted to be a part of that. That's and, what I think. And really right That's now, why he recorded the song Laying Down. There's not no better rapper in the NBA <laughs> than Dame. I mean, the only no, dude yeah, that's other that's dope is, I don't even know how to pronounce his name, but it's Tiana Taylor's husband. He got Oh, Iman Shumper. He got bars. Yeah. yeah. He's hard. And don't he don't even care about that he shit. He don't even care. But he, like, you could, you know, like, the way he, but Dame's, he's definitely, um, Doing what he's supposed to. Man. Yeah, Dame gassed that shit. Dame man. was ready for that shit, man. Yeah, man, he gassed that shit. Shout out to nonstop to the beat. It's crazy. I mean, you know that 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 made it a lot easier for him to gas, nigga. When right. when, when 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 you pull up to nonstop's gas station. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You get a full tank. Yeah, for that, real. That's but, supreme. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know. I didn't I didn't hear Shaq shit like I said. I already heard but. You know, nonstop gonna give you that gas. He gonna give Shaq you that, was to that Migos. He gonna give you that that, Shaq, Shaq that Jim know. Jones. Shaq, that. Shaq wasn't as bad as you would think it would be. No, bro. he didn't win it. It was just the sound quality. I can't think it. You, you don't sound like it's like going to a live show and seeing a. Can y'all recite the Shaq's bars? Can y'all recite? He recorded. He recorded. I, I didn't hear him. So he if you can't. Oh, that nigga said I didn't hear him. He recorded on the karaoke. That nigga said, that nigga said, I didn't hear him. All right, he being honest. Bro, that's terrible. I didn't hear him. All you could tell was that he was lying. Shaq was in a back studio inside uh, inside the NBA. (laughs) Shaq gave one of the gift bags to some girl that owned the studio, and he had the little... Wow. He had a... He had a a 2000 karaoke system when he did that shit, Uh, man. He did that. With the... Man, with the plastic mic. Yeah. It's all good, Shaq. It's cool. We still got love for you. Hope you watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, motherfucker. You, you watching came, Back in Black? You came from the hometown hero, Shaq Dame, though, man. Dame gave you, he served it He served it to you like biscuits and gravy, man. He we respect brought, you, though. He brought it to your doorstep, man. We respect you, though. Yeah, oh, most definitely. But Dame, like I said, East Oakland legend. You Tag know Shaq in this video. Yeah, he's not, <laughs> hey, East Oakland legend. Uh, he's he's not letting that shit slide. No. You know what I'm saying? Just like just like Dame, Dame is the same in the rap in the rap booth as he is on the court, nigga. You're not finna just pump Dame, and he's just gonna have that, nigga. It's not gonna happen, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So that's a that, that that that's what we out here for, man. We doing our thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Ratchet of the week, you bitch. Was the diss song? Yeah. Shaq and Dame. Overall, I Damn think Dame same. won. I give it to Dame. What y'all think? Well, you don't you don't have. You only heard one, bro. That's because I don't give a yeah. You gotta hear Shaq. And P is my nigga. P said that uh, he couldn't even hear Shaq. So here's the thing. Uh, a battle, Shaq, it also has to do with quality. Shaq always, quality is important yeah. in a battle. If you don't, if your recording is trash, nigga, then you're you lost. I'm gonna give it a tie because you Shaq. Right. 
And you know Shaq hard to hear anyway, but like, you know, I went that dang. You know, he got back at me. I'm gonna give it a tie just because it's Shaq. I'm like, damn, Shaq. The dame, the dame kind of, dame pretty much got 51%, 49. Right. <laughs> oh, he 51, 49, dang. Yeah. Give, like, <laughs> give, give Shaq uh, 49 for the effort. He tried, and he wanted some energy, and he got it, man. Yeah. He got it from a su- NBA superstar. You know, I, I, currently. I, I, nah, and I don't even interrupt but You know what? I'm going to give Dame 70% because the beat was... The beat was sick. The beat was give crazy. Now, give Nas stop 15% for that beat. Yeah, hey, bro. And, 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 and Shaq just used an old beat, just something he got off of his old cassette tape. <laughs> Man, you really was trying to be too old school and you made anybody that listens to you look bad for that moment. He had that beat since Kazam, man. Wow. Come on, Shaq. Bro. Not man, Kazam. You can't do that, bro, coming against a new school, fool. Yeah, nigga, this ain't, Shaq, this ain't that video with Foo I mean, Snickers. It, it looked like he recorded that in the Penny Harder ways. That, this ain't, what's up, Doc? Can we rock? This ain't that shit, should have got a Swiss yeah. beat. Yeah, yeah, so he recorded that in Penny Harder Shaq, you couldn't have got a better beat. And, you got, yeah, more, like, like, you you got more money. Beat. See, mm-hmm. and, and that's the thing. Dame Lillard actually bought the beat pilot. Yeah. Shaft is winning Shaft. Shaft. That nigga called a nigga Shaft. <laughs> Shaft <laughs> just went and did a sound. They used the Napster. <clears throat> Come on, bro. Probably said nonstop Shaq, like 5,000, yeah, 10,000 real quick. And that's yeah. why it was different. It was serious. Dame wasn't playing. Dame was happy to hear that somebody dissed him. He, he loved getting in the booth, man. Yeah. I don't know if he it was happy. Ha- I don't necessarily know if he was happy to hear somebody distant. But uh, he was he he accepted the challenge by most quick, definitely. Yeah, gracefully. Yeah, man. So shout out to Dame, man. So you know anyway, we're not gonna carry on too much Fuck about the ratchet of the weeks. Yeah. You know, but Stack and Black show episode a couple of Four, man. You already know. Uh so I just wanna let y'all know we wanna uh, a shout out to my man, Easy McCoy. On Instagram, at Easy McCoy, on Instagram at the Black Mannequin Fit. Right. As well as at Stacking Kicks. Right. As well as at the Real Black Mannequin. As well as at P Town Media. You know what I'm saying? At the Closet PDX. That's right. So there's a whole lot of ads, but y'all feel me. You know what I'm saying? Any shout outs, bro, to your peoples? Yeah. Your team? Man. Are we good? Man, we good. Easy McCoy. Y'all know what it is, man. Ain't nobody out for who they don't even got Instagram. They don't even want <laughs> internet. <laughs> right. They yeah. don't. They don't even want you to shout out the Instagram. They don't even want no notoriety. They go sit behind the scenes. And, and make cut, 10 million. And cut the check. <laughs> for real. For real. For right. Real, right. For real. Like, y'all got Instagram? They be like, Insta what? Insta what? I got two friends. Shout out to the whole team making this happen. Episode four in the books. You know what I'm saying? Look for it. Coming soon. We appreciate all the fans tapping in with us, and uh, we're going to keep this shit lit, man. We got a special guest next week. It's going to be a woman, so y'all just get ready, man. You know what I'm saying? We gonna, oh, we, yeah, she's we, coming, we she coming with the power, man. So shout out to Steady Low, Mike Scott, Parlay Vodka. Rex Whiskey, Rex Maru Whiskey, Vodka. Shout out, to, shout out to Never Cap It, ever. Yeah. Yeah, and and, and, and and shout out to never fake streaming either, nigga. You niggas. Nah. Shout out, shout out to your future, man, because you're growing with us. Shout out to all the baby mamas. Oh, shit. Mamas, mamas. <laughs> mamas, mamas, mamas. <laughs> mamas, mamas, mamas. <laughs> you know-